Hello, Maria. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, so um, my... you have to pay attention. You are called Maria Cordial. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, that's great. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, yeah. All right. Here it is. <laughs> now we are up. So maybe I, I will start by introducing myself. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody is with us right now, but uh, anyway, my, my name is Maxime Montagne. Uh, I work for the company Wide. Uh, we are a sales agency company uh, working on feature films and on VR films for over four years now. Uh, we are here uh, to speak about the project of, uh, of your project, Maria. Uh, first step and second step. Uh, project and follow, me Rome. and follow me Rome which is also uh, indeed in the in uh, at the maker fair uh, this year um, and so we are the we are sales agent working on the sales along with you uh, to find distribution opportunities uh, for your VR films um, and I will let you briefly introduce uh, these projects uh, and of course all these films are available online uh, through the Make a Fair platform, uh, and we strongly uh, advise you to see them because they are great VR piece, uh, already uh, awarded in many festivals and events, and it will continue, uh, I guess, <laughs> uh, for uh, for the coming months and year. Uh, but maybe you can tell us really quickly uh, about these different VR projects. Um, and uh, if there is anybody, uh, I think they can directly ask us question. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with our latest one. So this was first step, and um, this was launched at the 50th anniversary of the first step on the moon last year uh, in 2019. And um, this is the case because this is about the Apollo missions. And we wanted to have a VR film which has the possibility to transfer people directly on the moon and to feel it uh, completely for him or herself because uh, we try to make it as realistically as possible, uh, everything. So we used even archive photos of uh, the uh, early missions, um, stitched them and made them stereoscopic so that you have quite a nice and realistic feeling how it was for the astronauts on the moon because you are standing at exactly this these positions where these astronauts stood and uh, we uh, filmed uh, real astronauts to um, not quite astronauts but actors in uh, yeah, real suits, which uh, looks like the, the original ones. And so I think it's quite a great adventure. For example, also watching the rocket um, at the beginning, um, yeah, launching and coming up and uh, going upon uh, in front of you and so on. So this is first step. Then we have second step. Um, we produced this one before, but it's, also film about space and it's about future missions. So um, a next mission to Mars with uh, real people and a mission to, um, to, to a next mission to the moon and then to the Mars and maybe beyond. And I think this film is a very realistic, because of uh, this, this special environment, for example, especially on the Mar on Mars, where you have this feeling being in this red and intense landscape with uh, different environments, and to have a feeling for these huge, huge areas where um, so um, craters are as big as whole countries on Earth, and so on. So. Yeah, I think this is 
also another but quite realistic and intense feeling. And I have to admit, um, I told it um, a, few min a few days before in an interview that VR and mass, VR films, 360 films, take it as you want, but VR and space. These are two things which love each other. And um, so this is um, amazing, it is. And um, so then there are three other films. And so this is about Rome. This is Makers Fair, Fair Rome. Uh, we produced three films called Follow Me Rome, uh, where people can visit together with a guide uh, the most famous play places of Rome. So this is the Colosseum, the Circus Maximus, and the Forum, the Roman Forum. And uh, you get to have cr crazy and interesting stories about these places. And yeah, you, you feel like you are being there because we are very, we are interested quite in detail and having that feeling, for example, being on the Palatine above the Forum Romanum and you see the Col Colosseum and um, all these buildings in front of and um, below you, uh, this is uh, such an interesting feeling or being on the Colosseum, for example, um, on the top of it and looking uh, uh, above um, and uh, the city is below you. These are all so interesting views which can't have today. Yeah. Hi. So this is the short version. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Nice to, nice to see you, Guillaume. So this is Guillaume working uh, along with me at WIDE uh, on all the VR projects. Um, uh, one, one quick question maybe to, to follow up to your introduction. Maria, uh, you are among the, I guess, uh, important VR creator and producer uh, which defend uh, what we would call the, uh, 360 VR, uh, linear VR uh, compared to uh, uh, to interactive uh, project or installation. Uh, may maybe you could tell us really briefly about this choice uh, to make uh, first step, second step, follow me, or follow me Rome uh, as 360 project and not uh, interactive uh, six DOF uh, project. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course. So there are very different aspects how why we chose um, the, the, this um, medium. So the first one is um, a technical one. So we have, for example, in um, several films, live action people, real people. And uh, you can't have them within interactive films because um, at the moment, this is too complicated. Uh, so we, uh, but we wanted them to be there. So because this is a much more intense feeling when being close to real people. This is uh, very important. And um, the other fact is that film is the only medium where you can tell a story in a linear way. And um, so to, to focus people on what you want. Of course, um, everything is again different also in 360 if you compare it to a normal film, but it's much more um, like a director wants to tell a story. And when you have an interactive um, experience, so this isn't any longer called a film, this isn't any longer linear, you can, can't tell a story in that way like we want you to, to, to do it with our own um, velocity, with um, this editing, with the music, with all these important parts to have a film like you want it to be. Thank you. No, that seems totally uh, coherent with the project. And I guess uh, when uh, when the, the, the audience from the Make Fair will see your film, they will see 
why they were made as a linear 360 project. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe we'll re really briefly, um, as you mentioned, uh, VR and, and space are two things that goes hand in hand. Uh, do you have new upcoming project about space or uh, any upcoming project that you could tell us about or thing that you are working on right now uh, that maybe we would have the chance to see in 2021 <laughs> in yeah. the new world? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, um, yes, you mentioned space. So, yeah, we have an idea about a third step, but <laughs> somewhere in the future. <laughs> so, um, because this has to be somewhere in the future. Um, yeah, but um, a project we are working at at the moment, it's called Genesis. And it's, again, more this documentary thing but uh, very very intense a very storytelling like again um, having uh, to, to experience the uh, development of our earth of us uh, of our um, past uh, within um, let's say, 10 to 15 different scenes which are connected to each other and where are where you are in very intense surroundings uh, from the past and um, so we want to find out the most intensive feeling and images you can get when um, so we are uh, originally VFX and animation artists, um, so this is our choice to make it as most intense as possible and we have the tools to do that. So yeah, we are very curious about um, this, yeah, how it will end, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, anyway, I look. Uh, I look forward to see that. <laughs> um, um, so I guess uh, uh, maybe um, before finishing, I uh, we would invite anybody who is uh, attending this uh, this uh, short introduction to to uh, to ask us question. If anybody has any question, uh, um, maybe I could. So of yeah. course anybody yep. has any question of course yep. um, maybe i could um add some uh, yep. some point and this is again um regarding rome yep. so we are also working at a sixth of project at an interactive project this time uh, so that people have the possibility to walk uh, within Rome and to um, have their own stories uh, with a guide, uh, with herself doing some stuff. And um, so this is a bigger project, of course, because uh, Rome is great and, <laughs> you know, ancient Rome. <laughs> but um, so we try to find special areas, but um, this is also a project we are working at at the moment. So a lot to do, yeah. Okay, excellent. So you have a real connection with Italy and Rome. <laughs> <Absolutely. think>. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we, we came to the right place. Um, and uh, in any case, uh, first step and second step are also available online uh, for purchase uh, on the on the different stores, uh, maybe. So if anybody yeah. wants to watch them again uh, or for the first time after the festival, uh, they can go on Steam uh, and download. Uh, uh, so the, this is there are so many platforms at the moment yeah. who are supporting apps and longer. So it's yeah. that's a bit of a problem. I I have to talk about that for <laughs> another time. <laughs> that could be another time. On Viveport, and at the moment it's also on um, uh, for the Oculus Go. Oculus. So yeah. is, uh, there, and so it's called Into Space, and both films are connected to each other um, in this app. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So great. Thank you. Thank you, Maya, for your time. Uh, and uh, and I guess our, our contact at least at wide are available online uh, through the Maker Fair uh, website. Uh, so uh, if anybody uh, wants want to get in touch with us, uh, feel free to reach us via mail at any time. Um, so thank you so much. <laughs> and um, 
and talk to you soon. <laughs> yeah, Bye. of course. Yeah, thank you, Maxime. See you soon. And yeah. And I, I didn't have the chance to introduce myself. So uh, I've been talking to you, Mar Maria. I don't know if you hear me. No. No, no, no. I've heard you. Ah, yeah. You. Yes. I'm so I'm working with Maxime. Uh, so I've not been in the industry since a long time, but uh, I'm discovering the v VR industry. And I, I have to say, I'm very impressed by your film. Um, oh, thank Step, you. Second Step, and Follow Me Rome. And yeah, so I'm very looking forward to work on uh, on uh, this project in the future and, and on other projects if uh, some comes up. Yeah, me too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Maria. And bye-bye. Uh, bye. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Bye-bye. Have bye. a nice weekend. You too. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Bye. bye. bye.